yeah, Old Springs, um, single track, quite windy, lots of varied terrain. So body position is really important on the steeper stuff. You want to want to bend over at the waist, so allow some traction. Um, your front tire doesn't come off, but at the same point, your rear tire gets traction. Talking on cadence, you want to you know accelerate, have a higher cadence on those steep sections, and that should get you up in the most efficient way. Right here I am at the top of Old Springs and where body position is gonna become really important. If you're breathing hard, you got a steep technical section here. You wanna bend at the waist so your front tire doesn't come up. You wanna have good weight on your traction on your rear tire and power it up onto the flats. Earlier, we checked in with Coach Ryan to see what he had to say about cadence. Let's check in now with Coach Jackson to see what he has to say about body position and what's really important for him and his athletes. Thanks, Dana. I'm out here on Willow Creek Road in Sonoma County, which has hosted many of the grasshopper races over the years um, with my cyclocross bike to talk about body positioning while riding on gravel roads like these. Now, where it mainly differs from riding on the road has to do with traction. If you're riding on a gravel road and you start to break traction and your rear wheel starts to slip or if your handlebars start to lift up and that front wheel lift lifts up off the ground, you're losing efficiency. You're losing momentum and you're putting energy into your bike that isn't making you go forward. So let's talk a little bit about how to keep that energy making you go forward. If you're climbing on a fairly steep climb, one of the best ways is to stay seated stay on your saddle and to keep your upper body low to your handlebars. Keep your chest low and try to keep your pedal stroke very smooth. If you're having a fairly jumpy pedal stroke, um, then that'll result in your rear wheel slipping. If the climb isn't quite as steep, if it's a little bit more mild, you'll still want a smooth pedal stroke, um, but you can stand up if you, like me, like to climb standing up more than you like to climb seated. As opposed to on the road where you can climb standing and you can throw the bike around underneath you quite a bit, you'll want to keep your bike a lot more steady and you'll want to keep your weight further back on your saddle um, or over your saddle. So I hope this helps. Get out there and give it a rip. That's a wrap of this episode of The Tips. I hope you've enjoyed it and you get a chance to go out in the headlands and try it yourself. If you haven't registered yet, go online and get it done. And good luck and we'll see you out there.